identifying gaps in research or in literature. Okay, uh, by the end of the session, you and I will be able to help students to identify and present and capitalize research gaps. Uh, that, uh, that, that, that's the overall idea of this uh, discussion. Uh, but specifically, uh, uh, we, we are here to try to help students to identify their needs. Do they, uh, are they having problem in looking for research gap? And, and maybe we can uh, uh, consider the, the second thing that uh, uh, once we know that they can, we can, we can uh, inform them the type of research gap that they have identified. And, uh, and then uh, the third uh, learning outcome for this session is to, to sort of uh, uh, create a repertoire of skills or techniques to help students to identify the gap. So basically, these are the, just the three things we expect that we, 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 we can come out of this uh, session and, and apply in our, our practice. That is uh, research and especially quantitative research can be considered as sort of not necessarily a linear progression of activities, but we can put them in proper procedure uh, by having step. Uh, most of, of the time I've been advising my student, make sure you identify yourself a phenomenon that's qualitative or a topic of interest. That's always been the first thing that, that, that I re require my student to do. And the topic should Okay, in, uh, it, at its best, focus on one particular construct of more, more specific variables, measurable, observable variables. So, so try to uh, get them to identify the topic. Uh, because the topic will contain, the topic should contain the building block of any quantitative research or even qualitative research for that matter, which is variable. So, so that's, that's the first thing uh, uh, in, in order to, to have this done, uh, that is to identify research gap, uh, which will dictate the quality of a student's research. So that's the first step. Identify topic or, or be more focused, a uh, variable. Because uh, uh, once students tell us about their topic, it can be too many things there in the topic. Even causal link can be uh, uh, stated in, in the topic. Try to direct them to uh, uh, the most important variable. Uh, that's the starting point. To me, the starting point of identifying research gap. So they, they have to read. They have to read uh, across uh, journals, uh, reports, and uh, maybe after one or two weeks, they can share with us what uh, variables that keep on recurring in their, in their uh, thinking, in, in their thoughts, uh, in, in their discussion with the friends, in, 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 in their reading. Okay. That is a good starting point if they have a topic. And then, of course, advise them, try, if possible, not to change the variable. The topic we cannot finalize at the onset. We cannot tell students, we must, you must stick to the topic that we agreed upon today. Uh, it, it may be sort of a changing from time to time, but the variable should be there because it's the building block. Uh, we cannot just change a variable because it, uh, it will have so many implications on other things. Once that's done, then to read again. Okay, read the abstract of related relevant current articles. And again, try to identify the, the prevalence of that variable. Name of the variables could be something very close to their heart, but it's not the one that being uh, uh, commonly used in, in research. Uh, maybe the variable, uh, variables have been studied by others and they refine it. So try to identify the, the, the term. I mean, they, they can consider using or, or working on while doing the research. And then after that, while reading the abstract, try to find, try to establish statement of problem. Why do they, they want to study that, the, the, the variable? Then we can start helping them to design, conduct, and, uh, and conduct the study and 
report the finding. This fourth one is very critical to, that is identify research gap. We have to, maybe we have to, even myself, I'm trying to master the strategic behavior to identify research gap. So basically we may consider these uh, uh, steps or these components, uh, the first uh, four, four steps uh, can be considered as uh, trying to identify uh, gaps in literature. Uh, the reason for that is uh, when, when we want to justify, when a student uh, ha has to justify his or her research, then uh, uh, people will ask, what's new in your research? The, the, the novelty of your work here, because this topic or this variable has been, has been studied by, by, by so many uh, researchers before this. So what's, what's new? So uh, research gap is very critical uh, uh, and is considered as a problem to be uh, to be solved by, by students before they even engage in in, in uh, designing and conducting the, the the study. So that is a component of statement of problem, the research gap. Uh, uh, the research gap need to be to be uh, in order to come up with that a lot of work, a lot of reading, a lot of discussion, a lot of interaction. Uh, uh, need to be done uh, between the supervisor and the supervisee, also among supervisees, especially when they have the chance to, to discuss their topic in the form of, um, I mean, group study or forum. Most of the time, the summary of this, uh, this statement of research gap should be there in the, in the introduction section under the section that we call statement of problem and and it is uh, it's going to be used to convince examiner that this is a especially a phd work okay the difference between phd is and, and a master degree is that it must contribute something to knowledge okay uh, so, so by knowing the the the, the gap and addressing the gap in the research in, in the research work, the, the findings should contribute to address the gap. 